Hello everybody, what is a Prof Toast here? And today we got two juicy stories for you. One's kind of controversial, the other one's more just inspirational. But the first one is, of course, our iconic plumber, Mario. Well, he's not exactly a plumber anymore, he's kind of just really all around everything. As you saw a couple weeks ago, uh, his iconic nipples freaking just rock the nation. And Waluigi isn't even circumcised, so it's like, man, Nintendo's really really breaking the grounds these news here but this one's a bit of a controversial um, issue this one's called disrespectful immigrant tears down flag I was like Mario what are you doing I thought you weren't supposed to be in this drama but apparently I don't know he, he, he had a reason behind this so I got the article pulled up here so Mario is, a, is an illegal immigrant to the mushroom kingdom from Italy he tore down a Bowser's flag today after stopping on a group of government officials I was like whoa whoa what the heck Mario those close to the scene described it as disrespectful protests through the skull flag, complaining that Mario blocked the path of bullet bills just minding their own business. I was like, holy crap. But so, we had, we had their official um, basically make a statement. It goes, this plumbing guy, he, he simply has no respect for the good men and women that put their lives on the line for the Koopa Troop, for this freedom said Piranha Plant, whose pipe was jumped on uh, by Mario in World 3-7. He then went on to say, I'm a strong believer of freedom of speech, but if you want to live in the Mushroom Kingdom, you need to abide by Bowser's rule and get over the fact that he's our king. There's a right and wrong way to stomp Goombas. According to close sources, however, Mario disagrees that this style of protesting took the wrong approach. Mario went on to say, it's not the flag that I'm a protesting, it's simply using it, the flag as a symbol of the fact that Bowser keeps kidnapping my girlfriend over and over with no repercussions. Which is like, you know what, I can agree with him. Because he literally, like what, he's been getting his girlfriend kidnapped since, shit, the 80s? And yeah, literally, nothing's done. It just keeps going on. We wonder, like, why is nobody, you know, going against this issue? So he went on to say, um, in the statements of the press, we live in a society where people throw a hammers at you and the Koopa police do nothing to stop them. Which is very true, because it's like, I don't know how long you guys have been playing Mario, but he can be minding his own business, just trying to get through an area, and he got these, these guys just throwing freaking hammers at him. It's like, what the hell? It's not the way to run society here. I took the flag down with one giant skull and replaced it with one uh, peace sign. How could anyone be offended by that, added Mario. Despite Mario's clarification support for his cause, at only polling about 15%, with many Goombas and Cheap Chiefs calling for his firing. At uh, press time, Mario Kart driver Waluigi shocked fans by siding with Mario, citing his right to peaceful protest against King Bowser. So this is pretty shocking that, you know, freaking Waluigi at least, you know, went on the side of Mario. I'm kind of wondering... Where's, where's Luigi on this? Where's, where's Princess Peach? None of them trying to support him? It's just a very, very troubling day in the Mushroom Kingdom. Now for our second story, this one's a little bit more inspirational. This one comes out of the land of Skyrim. It's titled, This mentally inspired blacksmith continues to hold down his job despite repeating himself every five seconds. Now this is amazing because a lot of people couldn't do this. Smitty, if you're out there, we respect you and we, we appreciate you so much. So the article reads, St Staring blankly into the corner of his open air bazaar style smithing shack, a man known only as Smitty to travelers and the locals alike tends to his wares. We're always open. Have a look around. He warmly welcomes each customer, new and old. A pillar of the community, he fulfills his smithing needs of the townsfolk as well as providing a variety of weapons and armor for adventuring knights passing through their sleepy town. And the most amazing part about this is he does all of this while being clearly mentally handicapped. Smitty suffers from a tragic condition that compels him to repeat the same one line over and over no matter how many times he is prompted. Cases of this debilitating affliction have drastically de declined since the late 1990s. But the condition still affects many of the lands where the resources to prevent this disease are very scarce. Despite these conditions, customers have grown to accept Smitty's condition. One customer said, I asked him for advice on one of his deck booster daggers 
and the guy just welcomes me again, said one visitor at the shop, like even at, at the same tone and everything. At first it was creepy, but then someone explained his condition to me, and I was just so blown away someone could overcome so much and run their own business. Good for him, I made sure to only steal some of his stuff. Well see, that's good, at least some people have a conscience, because they could have just stole everything, but they're like, you know what, I'm only going to steal a few things. Now that shows, shows the kind-heartedness of people in Skyrim. While others can't look past the man's mental difficulties to see the human behind the anvil, one person quoted, I noticed a significant drop of customer service after we first walked in, claimed another customer. He, he wouldn't say anything different to me until I bought something. After that, he went back to saying the same old line again. It was like we never even met. Despite major setbacks, Smitty remains positive. We're always open. Have a look around, he told us as I questioned how he deals with the daily challenges. After I asked what advice, what it feels like to be a hero to so many who have suffered from this, he said, we're always open, have a look around. Truly inspiring words from a man with a heart of gold and the speech capability of just eight words. In fact, he isn't the only blacksmith with this disorder that has found success. Smitty has identical quintuplets with similar shops across the country, all saying the same exact thing, all the time, regardless of the context, forever, just wow. So as you can see, a truly, truly humbling and inspiring story about Smitty. It's amazing what you can overcome, even with such disabilities as he has. So that's, those are our stories for today. Did you guys enjoy these? Do you guys have any thoughts or comments on either Mario or what are your thoughts on Smitty? Do you appreciate his hard work? Do you think it's still good for the community? And do you think Mario was right or wrong? And do you think that Waluigi shouldn't have been the only one to side with him? But that's about it all we have today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slap that like button down there. And also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, uh, make sure to follow. go down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter, because that's where we're going to have all our updates on upcoming videos, on what we're going to be doing next. And of course, you know me, I just post the random crap that I find across the internet. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.